Let's continue with the topic of object selection methods in AutoCAD. Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you. In this tutorial, you will learn verb noun method, noun verb method, object grouping and quick select. In AutoCAD, there is a method using which we can select same type of objects existing in the same layer. I'll demonstrate it. Here I have selected this line of the stair, then I'll right click. Here you will get an option called select similar. Just click on that. Now you can see that AutoCAD has selected all these lines existing in the same layer. The objects in the layer are existing in a layer called stair. You will get complete information about layers from the layer panel which you can see here and we'll have an exclusive video on layers later. Now you can give any editing commands on these objects. Let's try erase. When I tried select similar, these lines hasn't got selected because they are kept in a different layer. I'll just click on this line and you can see that it's in the zero layer. Now I'll give undo to get those erased objects back. Have you noticed any change in the way I have performed this editing command? I have prepared the selection first using the select similar option. Then I gave an editing command. In fact, in AutoCAD you can perform editing in two different ways. The first method is verb noun method. In this method, you first give the editing command. Then you select the objects to be edited. For example, I'll give erase command which is called verb or action. Then I'll select the objects to be edited which is called noun. That means at the select object prompt, I have selected the required number of objects to be edited and those objects got erased. The second approach is called noun verb method in which you first make the selection, then you perform the editing command. For example, I'll select the dining table set, then I'll give the erase command. You can stick to any of these methods depending upon the requirement. Next, I'll teach you the concept of groups in AutoCAD. We can combine two or more objects as a single unit for the purpose of selecting these objects in one click. Let's see that. First of all, we have to create a group. That is done by clicking on the group icon in the group panel. It will ask you to select objects, but I would like to give a name. So click on name. I'll call it as chairs because I want to combine all these chairs as a single unit. I'll type chairs, then it will ask you to select the objects. I'll perform a selection using a standard window and I'll give an enter. Now when you make a click, you can see that all these objects including the text got combined as a single unit. I'll give copy command and I can click anywhere on the group to select the entire objects on the group. I'll pick a base point and a second point. Now you can see that certain unwanted objects got included in the group. But whenever you want, you can edit a group by adding objects to and removing objects from it. For that, you first select the group and click on group edit icon in the groups panel. Here you will see various options like add objects, remove objects, etc. I'll click on remove objects and I'll select this particular text as well as this line and this one. Now when you click on the group, you can see that you have removed all those unwanted objects from the group. Sometimes you may have to edit the objects in a group individually. In that case, how will you make a selection? Suppose if I want to make a copy of this two-seater chair and when I make a selection, the entire group will get selected. You can use this button to turn on and turn off the group selection. Once you turn off, the group selection mode will get turned off and you will be able to select objects in a group individually. But anytime you want to select the entire objects in a group, you can activate the group selection and select the group. Alternatively, you can also access this group at the select object prompt. I'll disable the group selection mode so you can select the objects individually. Now I want to execute an editing command on the objects of this group. I'll give move command. At the select object prompt, I'll type G. G stands for group and it'll ask you for a group name. I'll type chairs. Now the objects in the group got selected. I can pick the base point and second point to complete the move command. This is how you access the objects in a group at the select object prompt even if the group selection mode is turned off. You can delete a group permanently by clicking on the ungroup icon in the group panel. Then you select the group to be deleted. Now the group will get exploded and it will get deleted. That's all about the concept of groups. Before I conclude this topic, I would like to introduce you to one more object selection method. That is called quick select. You can get this interface through properties palette. 
you can get the properties palette either by typing PR at the command prompt or else you can use the key combination control 1. We have quick select over here. Just click on that. Then you will get a quick select dialog box. You can prepare a selection from the entire drawing or you can manually make a selection by clicking on this particular button and make a selection of the desired objects from the screen. In this method you can define a condition and based on that you can prepare a selection. Now I'll choose entire drawing. You can select the object type. Suppose if I want to select all the lines in this drawing which are existing in a particular layer. So you can go to layer and I would like to select all the lines in the zero layer. It will display all the layers in this drawing. From this I'll choose zero. So I'll select zero and give OK. Now you can see that AutoCAD has selected all the lines which are drawn in zero layer. We can execute an editing command on the selection as per the noun verb method we have seen before. So I'll click on copy command. Then it will ask you for the base point and a second point. This is the best method to perform such a complicated selection. So that's all about the various object selection methods in AutoCAD. Depending upon the situation, you should be in a position to locate and implement the best suitable method. In this tutorial, we have learned verb noun method, noun verb method, object grouping and quick select in AutoCAD. In the next tutorial video, I'll talk about editing commands. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group SabirCAD. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box. I once again request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD where CAD training is made easy. Also don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses, you will get lifetime account. Means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses. You will also get all future updations of lessons for free. You can get all your queries answered through WhatsApp chat and mail.